looks at bars. Just ask random men and what's going on guys bms back with another video you know what it is all right guys so today we're going to be reacting to two women that are essentially saying a nightclub is fat phobic i got invited to highlight room last night for my friend's birthday it was a group of like 15 girls i was definitely the biggest in the group waiting in line to meet up with the promoter i ran into ella it was like amazing we're yeah. gonna have so much fun up there yep. so the promoter starts letting in the whole group of girls and right when it gets to me at the front the bouncer puts the rope in front looks me up and down and says yeah not tonight I wanted to make sure he wasn't confused and he knew that I was a part of the group that he was letting in. Mm -hmm. So I let him know and he looked me up and down one more time and said, yeah, not tonight. And at that point it was extremely apparent what was going on and that I was being discriminated against because of the size of my body. So then I'm confused, I'm like, what's going on? Let me talk to him. So we switch spots, I go to the front, I'm like, hi sir, it's just us four, like what's going on? Like super calm and he's like, looked at me up and down, I was like, not tonight. And I was like, what do you mean not tonight? I'm so confused, like I was just here for dinner before, like wait, what are you talking about? wouldn't give us an answer we didn't know why and to be honest with you we're tired of playing safe and we're tired of just letting this happen and not speaking up about it this has personally happened to me three other times i know this has before. happened to her before mm -hmm. and a lot of our cur friends as well and it is not okay and we're not doing this because we're complaining we can't get into highlight room we don't care it's for that girl or that person that's bigger who does not have a voice and doesn't have a following and doesn't have the connects or model friends or is a model or like it's we understand we're privileged. All right. So let's just pause right there. I mean, the whole premise of her argument, she's basically saying that she's being discriminated because of her weight. Now, I would push back a little bit here and say, listen, the whole business model for the nightclub, as well as a gentleman's club, is to prey on the insecurities of the average guy dangling hot women wearing little to nothing thinking that they're there for them when in reality they got let in for free they're there for the free drinks and the pretty privilege right so where's the outpour for the discrimination on men how many times have you been in a club of an average man and i've been there before where you buy a drink for a woman right you buy a bottle <laughs> and once that last drop of alcohol hits her tongue, <laughs> she's out of there. Set bars. Just ask random men and- Because she's not there for you. She's there for the pretty privilege. And what it sounds like, her ego's hurt in this situation because she mentioned that she's a model, seems like she's a TikTok model, and she's probably used to guys, you know, worshiping her and calling her queen and goddess and this and that. And out in the real world, she got a heavy dose of reality. It was so dehumanizing. It was like we were literally getting looked through. People were watching and seeing what was going on and no one was helping. These people were looking at us like we were scum of the earth. Literally scum. Nobody cared. And no. Again, we have so much privilege and we need to come on here and make it known that this shit is not okay anymore no. at all. Just because you might be a little bit thicker, you can't enjoy a night out with friends and like, give me a f You got me so f up. The security guard was there, did not help. And he was a bigger guy. And I looked at him and I said, hey, you're seeing what's going on. You're a bigger guy. You know exactly what's going on here. Are you not going to speak up for us on our behalf? Are you not going to vouch for us? You know what's going on. And he's like, oh, well, it's not really my place. No, it is. That's your coworker. Social standard, who cares? who cares? Stand up for what's right. Like to speak up when you see that something is wrong. We are clearly getting discriminated against. It's very evident they're letting girls in front, behind, back, side, guys come in. Everyone that is way thinner than us. And they literally looked at us up and down and said, not tonight. On a Wednesday night, mind you. I'm tired of staying quiet. There needs to, this needs to be talked about. If you've experienced any type of discrimination like this, you know exactly how yeah. horrible and disgusting it feels. And we are no longer letting this fly anymore. We're holding these people accountable. So Highlight Room and any other club or place that discriminates people and fat shames them, please do better. All right. So again, she's not saying or bringing any evidence to the forefront to say they are discriminating against me for X reason. It seems like her feelings are hurt. You know, she's going off of a hunch. Um, you know, the way she feels, the speculation. She's not bringing any concrete evidence to say this is the reason. All right, so let's just say for a moment she's telling the truth. I've been discriminated against, you know, wearing Air Maxes 
and Ed Hardy back in the day from, you know, gaining access to the club. They turned me away based off of my attire, right? I mean, it's a private business. If they choose not to let me in because of the way I'm dressed, for example, then so be it. I'm not going to boo-hoo, whine, and complain about it. I'm just going to move on to a different establishment <laughs> that wants to take my money. So I don't know what they're trying to do, what they're trying to accomplish, but let's continue. Hey guys, we're here with a little update because a lot of you guys are asking, what's the next move? Have they reached out and what's going on? So we want to let you know. Elle and I received the same copy and paste generic DM from the highlight room with mm -hmm. the general manager's number. Mm -hmm. I spoke with the general manager on the phone um, and she talked about us having a meeting together, but we know that this is bigger than just one meeting where we get an apology. We don't want just an apology and a sit down. How can we make this right? We want real change. We want policy change. We want training. We want to make a change. And we realize that this is a lot bigger than us and bigger than we ever could have thought. So that's, that's where our head's at. The amount of DMs and messages from women sharing similar stories of discrimination is absolutely alarming. So we want to open this conversation up to you guys. We want you to stitch this video with the hashtag not tonight and share your story now so we can get this out. We're all in this together. We're going to make a change. I mean, every establishment has the freedom to let in who they want, but does that mean it's right? No, and it's not. So let's talk about it. I would just like to make everyone know that if this has happened to you in some way, if you've ever been discriminated against or made fun of or ashamed, embarrassed, humiliated, no, it's not you. It's that other person. You know, this is a reflection of them. She said it herself. You know, the business has the option to let you in or not. Right. If it's a privately owned business, perhaps running under an LLC, they have the option to let you in. What they're really saying is you're bad for business. Right. If the whole business model is to extract resources from men, they're basically saying you're not hot enough. If I'm being completely honest, that's really what they're saying here. Right. Because, again, if it's a privately owned business and they want to allow in lions, tigers, bears, oh, my into their establishment, I mean, so be it. If you really want to make a difference here, start your own club, right? Start your own nightclub that says big women only and see how many guys flock to spend money. Get over it. You'll never make a change. This is how it's always been. NBC interviews us. Yahoo picks it up. Countless and countless women come forward with similar stories. The highlight room has yet to apologize. They told the NBC reporter that they're actively engaged with me and Alexa to make this right and that they're always open for feedback, which is ironic considering their Instagram comments are now disabled. The Tao industry group comments are disabled and their Yelp reviews are disabled. But you guys are going so hard for us. Hashtag not tonight. The Yelp reviews started flooding in. Y'all went so hard. I mean, beautiful. Now you can't leave anymore because they're under investigation by Yelp because they had way too many reviews. What I do find interesting, though, is that their Google review score has gone up overnight somehow. And magically, all of the recent reviews of one stars have been disappeared. And now here are the newest reviews, all four or five stars. So something is not adding up. I don't know how it's legal that they're able to delete these reviews. But our video has done so well on Instagram, too. All right, guys. So as you can see, there's no real change that's going to come from this situation. What it sounds like inadvertently, she's leveraging her contacts to potentially bully the business owner into submission to think the way she thinks and her ideologies. And if you don't think the way I think, I'm just going to run your business into the ground. I'm going to destroy your business, destroy your livelihood and potentially bankrupt you because you don't think the way I think. And I mean, let's be honest, this business has employees, right? That feed their family from this business. You got the doorman, you got the business owner, of course, uh, you got the waiter, the waitress, you have people that are employed and, you know, playing with their livelihood because somebody has a different opinion. I mean, whatever happened to the First Amendment and freedom of speech? Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time.